Ambayaluo. Chapter 1 Nimal came running past the other boys and leapt from the road on th- onto the grass and picked up a mango. That's mine, said Sunil, trying to snatch it from him. I will kill you, give you. How could the mango I picked up by be yours? Maybe you pick it, but I am the one who saw it first. The other boy walked about under the mango trees looking for mangoes. A few boys picked up good ones. Some even picked up mangoes partially eaten by squirrels, while some were deceived by immature ones that look ripe. Sunil, who only wanted to get the mango Nimal had picked up, got nothing. Are you giving my mango or not? asked Sunil and rushed towards Nimal, leaving the statue on the ground and forge of the mango. Nimal too trust his bundle of the books under him, armpit and held the mango with both his hands. Because of the quarrel, the books slipped and fell on the ground. The other boys who picked up mangoes shared them together. If you want a piece, I will give you one, said Nimal, still fighting. Why only a piece of me, piece for me? The fight increased in intensity. Both of them fought r- rolling on the ground, crawling on their knees, and by getting up and failing several times over, the other boys who were only interested in enjoy the taste of the mangoes true that it was a mock fight at first and made fun of it but when they saw the angry face of the fighters they were drawn towards the scene of the fight what's this asked one he is trying to Take the mango I picked up, said Nimal, without giving up the mango. I am the one who saw it first, said Sunil, drawing his first and giving Nimal a powerful blow on the on the forehead. Nimal, who did not accept this blow, was drawn aside and it was with difficult that the he prevented himself for failing on the ground the boys were alarmed without trembling nimal counting to look at the look at sunil sli- silence silently Sunil also stood up, preparing to hit him if the need arose. Immediately, Nimal stepped forward and offered the crushed mango to Sunil. Sunil drew his foot back and nicked Nimal's extended hand. The mango slipped out of his hand and fell on a rotten mango covered by a swarm of blue pl- blue flies. Still Nimal kept on looking at Sunil. Sunil too stand at Nimal like a fighting clock. In vain. None got it.
said some boy. Nimal whipped the mango juice that solid his hands on his trouser pockets, dusted his clothes and collect his book with a fully ripened gold mango fell in front of Nimal and he picked up it. See how the squirrels select the correct side, said Nima. Sunil, who heard it, looked up as if he intended to hit the squirrel. Nima looked out his pen knife from his pocket, opened it and cut the mango. The boy surrounded him. Nimal pinched the first piece of mango with the tip of his knife and offered, offered, to, offered it to Sunil. Sunil looked at Nimal's face and as he saw it, tears gathered in Sunil's eyes. Take Sunil, take, said one boy. Suni looked at the piece of mango and Nimal's two innocent eyes twice or thrice. Then he turned back, picked up innocent eyes twice or thrice. Then he turned back, picked up the stasil and went went away.